Hey everybody, my name is Annie Ruth and welcome to my world. I am a multifaceted artist loving to use my gift and share it. So we're going to dive right into the lesson. Today's lesson is decorative paper weaving. And so what you'll need is some decorative papers. I love to get these. You can get them at Walmart for like about $5 for a tablet. They got so many different variations of colors. Um, you will need simple glue stick. All right. Pair of scissors. Okay, and you got it. Um, typically, when I put my image down, um, you either need some colored paper or cardstock to put your image on. And because I know I'm going to, um, I'm going to mat my piece when I'm done, I actually have prepared um, the mat on the paper already. And as I lay it out for you guys, you can see. So um, what you need with the scissors is. You'll be cutting strips. Now, if you're one of those fortunate individuals who loves to do crafts all the time and you have a paper cutter at home, then you can actually use your paper cutter and cut various size strips like, like these colored strips, whatever color that you're trying to use, um, is really a personal preference. So I'm going to dive right in some key phrases that you'll hear, hear me repeating over and over again will be under over under, over, or in, out, in, out. And that's the process of weaving, under and over or in and out. So let me hear you say under, under, over, over, in, in, and out, out. All right, here we go. So we're gonna make a nice design. So the first thing you wanna do is take your glue stick and get it rolled up. Sometimes kids like to roll it up way like that. This is really a good level to have your glue stick um, roll that so you don't get glue all over the place because I know uh, a lot of parents will be doing this uh, particular activity with your children too so here we go all right first one simple strip I am going to glue the back side just one little uh, piece of that right there okay at the top part we don't want to glue the whole sheet of paper all right and I'll put that down all right I'm gonna grab another color uh, just because I love, mm, I love this brick looking stuff here. So I'm going to put this down. So I'm going to glue this down, a few of them down, and then I'm going to show you. I'm actually leaving some black space in between my, um, my strips that I'm gluing down. Various widths. So I'm actually going to grab some, some thin ones and some thick ones too. So let me grab, um, get some lighter colors here to lighten this up a little bit here's a thin strip okay i'm gonna glue that down there's that uh, let me take some of this fancy looking stuff this is a card stock here uh, see that i love that i love the textures and patterns that are on there all right i'm gonna glue that down as well okay i got these going all so right now i'm just gluing one the left side of my pieces and I want to show you something too. It's really a personal choice. Sometimes people like to take the, um, the strips and go past the margin of the mat. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Sometimes people will go past the margin of the mat. That's okay, depending on what kind of design that you're looking for. And then you always have the option as you begin to weave to be able to trim off some of the pieces too. So I'm going to get some... I want to add some darker greens in here. I've got like a little red and green theme going on here. And I love these words that come with the, um, the earth tone. There's some, there's some strips of paper that I have here with, with words printed on them. And with the decorative paper selections, sometimes they have words that you can use on the paper. And particularly if you're trying to get across a theme, then using the paper with words on it will, um, will work fine for you too. I think I'm gonna do maybe one more strip, maybe something, let's add another red, a little, uh, little slight variation of thickness. So I'm gonna get something like this here. All righty, and I'm gonna glue this down in this direction. All right, now I am ready. So I've got a bunch of strips that are glued down and see that the ends they're kind of hanging like that because I want to be able to have the flexibility of the paper to to go in and out or under and over all right here we go 
So when I start um, gluing my strips in the opposite direction or the, the cross hatching direction, I'm going to take and show you how that's done. So of course, again, we're gluing this, this top edge here. All right. And then I'm going to glue this starting on top. And then I'm going to glue one more strip so I can show you the comparison of how that in and out factor works. So let me grab, I got like a little darker color here. I'm going to, and I, I got a thin one. So I'm going to grab it too. So here's another, uh, a slightly darker color there. And I'm going to grab, put my little glue stick on the end there and lift that and start with that under. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to show you something really quick. So here they are right here. As I begin to take this first row and you'll be able to see it right here on the paper. I want to go over on the first one, right? So if I go over on the first one, that means the next strip that I come to, I'm going to go under on it. Okay. So let me put under on it. And the great thing about the paper is you just have the flexibility. It doesn't have to be a very, very straight line. It's really up to you. I'm going under on that one. So which means that on that next one, I go over and then the next one that I come to, I go under. And since I just went under, the next one is over. And then the next strip next to that one is under, right? Um, and then in and out are used synonymously. So I, right now I'm just kind of going over and under. All right. And then the next one I go, since I've gone over, I go under and then the final one goes over. And so what I want to do when I get to the end of that row, take my glue stick, and glue that particular strip down. Okay. So I'll show you that. So on my first row, that first row was glued down. The next strip that I'm doing is going opposite. So if my strip next to it has started with it over, then I start this strip going under and then I go over and then I go under and I go over. And then I go under and then I go over and then I go under and I go over and then I go one more under and I'm at the end of that row. And since I'm at the end of the row, I take the glue stick and glue down at the very end of the row. And I'm going to show you what that looks like up close. So see up close there. So now we've got under, over, under, over, under, over. All right. I'm going to actually do a couple of rows and then I'm going to show it to you so you can see that. All right. Let me take a wide one just so I'm going to add a little versatility in here. So since I started with that skinny one right there, it's starting with that going under. So on this one, I'm going to start with this one going over. Okay. So. I'm going to leave a little black space there because I like to use the space. I, I, something about the black paper just, it, it makes the colors pop for me. All right. So I'm starting with that one going over. So I go under and then I go over and then I go under and then I go over and then I go under and then over and then under here and then over. Now I'm going to show you something really neat. Right here, I've got this extra paper at the end. I think I'm going to actually do something very unique and just cut what they call a little V strip at the end. And I'm going to actually let some of it hang off, hang off the mat. All right. And because I want to glue that down, remember when I get to the very end of that, I glue it down. And I'm going to actually let some of that hang on to the mat. Let me get over here and do another color. Let me, let's try. I haven't done a red strip going across. So let me take um, a kind of medium red strip. Remember the first thing I want to do is glue stick some glue on this edge here. And since the row started going over, this one will start with it going under. I'm going to leave a little black space. So let's go under. 
then over, then under, and then over, and then under, and then over, and then under here, over, and then it's going to end on the under. So I'm going to leave a little glue stick here and then um, glue down this at the very end. I got that glued down. So I'm going to show that to you real quick. All right. So see how that, that weaving is coming together. All right. The great thing is it's really my choice how much space I want to leave. I'm actually going to see how I've kind of had them close together. I'm going to go down and grab a wider area in between my black. So what I want to do here is I'm going to grab some of this. I love this. I'm going to show it to you guys. It's, it's I really like it. It kind of reminds me of wood. So I'm going to glue stick my end here. All right. Since this started going, started with that going under, this one will start with it going over. So I go over, under, over, under, over, under, over under and the last part of that will go over remember you want to make sure you glue stick that down at the very when you get to the end i always tell people to is is it helps you work better if you're glue sticking at the very very end all right i'm gonna do one more strip and then i'm going to actually finish this piece off but the great thing about it is i am going to finish it off with one more strip and then I'm going to cut a decorative um, bottom. So since I love green, I'm going to add some green to this. So this green will finalize my strip. This started with that going over. So this one will go start with it going under. Okay, so I'm going to go start with it going under. Leave a little space there. So we got under, you got it, over. And then the next one is under, then over then under then over then under and then over and under all right and i'm going to trim this right here at the end and i'm gonna put a little glue stick on the bottom here and get these edges glued down now so right now I'm going to do something what they call finishing my edges. So right now I've got my design where I'm at the bottom. So I'm going to finish my edges to give the design a little neatness here. So here we go. All right. And here's one that's kind of hanging long. I'm going to give it a special cut. I'm going to give it another V cut. Almost looks like the bottom of a ribbon. And then I'm going to glue it down. All right, now I'm going to glue all my edges down now. So on the bottom edge, I'm going to take that glue stick and glue those edges down. Okay, there's one there and then there's one more here. And here, that one. There we go. All righty. And there we have a finished decorative paper weaving. You can do the same thing right at the comfort of your kitchen table. Grab the children. You don't have to have decorative paper. You can use construction paper. You can use fabric. You can use um, pieces of bamboo and other, other items like that. Whatever you do, don't forget that everyone is creative. And if I don't share anything else with you, I want you to always remember that everyone is creative. In my tradition of blowing a kiss to you all after the lesson, hold your hands up in the air. Mm, I'll blow you a kiss. Put it out there and you all catch it and I'll see you next time.